Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Saturday, the 22nd of July, 2023. Uh, a little before 6 o'clock in the evening. It's been drizzling, raining, storming off and on most of the afternoon. Uh, right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 26 degrees Celsius, 80% humidity. 79 degrees Fahrenheit feels like 79 degrees the rain is really helping wow. it woke me up earlier Ow. Um, most of y'all know I sleep odd hours but it was it was around noon or whatever, I woke up with a bad headache. And, uh, kind of figured what it was. Checked the radar, there were storms coming. And I laid back down, slept for another couple hours. <coughs> but, I woke up a couple of times, like the storm, the storm blowing or the wind blowing, whistling around the house. I was just, why is that rocking so much? Oh, I must have moved it. Try that. Anyway, it's supposed to storm for the next couple of hours off and on. I need to go out to Walmart to get my prescriptions. It doesn't have to be done today, but... Tomorrow I go to my son's house. Monday I go to my daughter's house. So, today is pretty much the day. I want to wait until like Tuesday or something. I don't need them, need them. One good thing was um, my current my current insurance. They pay pay for the stuff way before I'm actually out. Last insurance, you had to wait until like four or five days before your prescription ran out, before they would let you renew. And now, and this is actually an automatic renewal. I don't even have to pay, I don't even have to call for it. They, they let me know, hey, you got a prescription ready. Oh, <laughs> already? Okay. So that's a good thing, but, uh, so, I've been gone from the house more or less six weeks, right? Uh, almost seven weeks. So, I got home last night and started to put stuff in the refrigerator and realized, dude, you got some science experiments going on in there. <laughs> yeah, so... Started going through stuff. I didn't finish. I, it was kind of, you know, I was ready to, to chill out. It was still hot in the house and whatever, but um, anyway, I went I went back yeah, twice, I guess, and ended up with two big, two big boxes worth of stuff out of the kitchen. Not just the refrigerator. I had, I had like a bunch of bunch of empty boxes like when I order I order a, a, a box of tuna fish from from uh, Amazon or even I even get it that's this way at the store I just pick up all 12 packages or 14 packages wherever in the in the box so I had a couple of those that were down to you know like one or two containers left so I you know kind of Combine those, put them together, 
got rid of the got rid of the boxes. The empty ones made more space. But I mean, the refrigerator still has stuff that needs to be gotten rid of. But yeah, so when I went to take take out the trash last night, it was I don't know two thirty this morning, three thirty, three o'clock this morning, something like that. It was actually nice out. Like, I don't know what the temperature was, but it was comfortable out. Uh, I had no problem breathing. There was a nice little breeze blowing. I was like, wow, <laughs> why can't it be like this all the time? But, of course, it can't be, so it's summer in Florida. <sighs> I'm sort of kind of used to it. You know, I've been down here. 30 years or something so we're as close to as it doesn't matter so I, I know Florida summers are blah for the most part I just hibernate during the day soak up the AC go out in the evenings it's kind of unfortunate that so many of the places I used to go to hang out <coughs> in the evenings are closed Thanks to that worldwide incident, pandemic, pandemonium, once things out of proportion. Oh. Anyway, I just realized they, they knocked all those trees down, just put a retention pond. Maybe they're putting a small business thingy there. But, uh, uh, small strip mall or something. Or a single standalone business. I don't know. Anyway. I guess this is going to be another one of those stitched together type videos. I'm going to go in here. I think I'm going to run into Dollar Tree real quick. Uh, i trying to remember what I was going there for yesterday. Couldn't get it. Um, maybe I'll remember when I'm in there. Or I'll end up getting something else. So. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and cut it off right here. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm back. Dollar Tree, eh, I didn't really have what I wanted again. Um, Walmart had most of what I went for. I got my prescriptions prescription and a couple of the other things I was looking for couldn't find at the other store so good to go I think I want to run down to the intracoastal Memorial Hospital Women's Center huh that's what they were doing in that building it used to be a restaurant But I think I'm going to run down to the Intracoastal to do a a small haul. I didn't do I didn't get much. But uh, anyway, uh, just that even riding on the on the, the scooter buggy, um, the electric buggy. Coming out into the air, it was still a little thick. Actually, I ended up having to. Somebody, for some reason, put their cart right behind my truck. So, I got it and pushed it across to where carts are supposed to be. Whew. 
just that little bit of effort. I feel, I don't know, there's times, there's times I just feel like, I don't know, disgusting with myself. I know it's not my fault, you know? I just, I want to do something I can't, and that's frustrating on several levels, so. Anyhow, a couple of comments from yesterday. Um, I used to have a a uh, handicap placard that goes on the window. Actually, we had two. I had one, and the old Miss had one. I very seldom ever use them because I don't know. I always feel like other people that need that space way more than I do. I can get out, I can walk. Yeah, I might have to walk really slow, but I can do it. If I grab a cart or something like that, I'm pretty good to go. Um, it's only been recently, the past few months, since I you know, battled with the, with the Chinese flu thing going around. I've actually been using the, the electric buggies. And even then, I didn't use them all that much until my knee started bothering me. So, still using it. Um, it does make it easier to get around the store. Although, again, sometimes I feel like I'm, like I'm faking because you know, my knees don't bother me. At the same token, I know that if I walked around the store, my ankles would be sore, my knee would be sore, so, you know, they're there for that, they're there for, to be used, and hopefully, you know, somebody that needs it more than I do has their own that they bring in, but, anyway, I've, I've had, the, I've had the, just the, the uh, placard, I lost it, I can't, I can't use the old misses, and that's packed away somewhere. Um, because it's got a number on the bottom of it. If they, if they run the number, it comes back just like your, just like your license tag. So, uh, so yeah, I can't. Even though I can find that one, I can't use it. And I have no idea what happened to mine. They had just gotten thrown out with, you know, we were cleaning out papers or whatever, and they got stuck into something or whatever. I have no idea. And I could probably go back and just get a new one reissued, or go to the doctor and get, uh, you know, get a. It's easy to just walk into the doctor. They have a form right there. At least the last time I did it, they filled the form out. I took it to DMV and. That was it. It was like five minutes in DMV. Shortest time I've ever been there. Uh, then I said something about, about like if I'm not able to drive, being able to get around or whatever. And uh, I know there's all kinds of places that deliver. But it, for me, it's more than that. I mean, I've always, I've always been a driver. Like, look at just these vlogs. I, I talk better when I'm driving. So, or I think I do. I know I can get, I can shop Walmart's ads and, or, or app and Winn-Dixie's app and Publix and Target and get it all delivered. That's not really the point. I like getting out. I also like being able to choose what I'm getting because I've been there when my daughter's unloaded her groceries. And 
she has dented cans. Um, one day, one day the pasta was busted up. Um, the, the, the pasta, egg noodles, the egg noodles were all crushed. Uh, or if they don't have something, they'll sub something. It may not be what you're looking for. You know, a different type of cheese or whatever. There's that. So it, it's a great resource. I used it again back when I was, you know, dealing with the dealing with the Chinese flu, but it wasn't. I don't know. I like getting out and about. I like doing like I'm doing right now, just driving and. That's always been my solace. I'll go out and, and just drive. It's not, it, it, it's not unusual for me to get on the road and drive two hours to Daytona just to hit Waffle House, get a cup of coffee, and come home. Or go the other way, uh, go to Savannah. Stop and get coffee at Waffle House or Love's Truck Stop. Maybe not coffee, but a fresh soda. And turn around and drive home. You know, a four hour trip. But it relaxes me. I think I'm in the wrong lane. I am in the wrong lane. We'll fix that. Fixed. Ooh, I should have gone that way and gone over to that overlook. Nah, then I have to get out and walk. And it's kind of not raining, but spinning a little bit. So hopefully, this under the bridge access is open, at least part way. frame. Come on, light. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here, folks. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they ain't, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see you all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. Watch y'all.